It was a little bit, yeah. It was a little bit, maybe. That we, we were sort of turning up to our pool games and we're playing Romania or Georgia and or you know or, or Argentina, for example. Who all, they all brought spectators, but the neutrals. Now you could tell that it felt like we were playing four away games, yeah. heavy away it's games. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It does. But at the same time, you know, that you appreciate that they're passionate for the sport and the underdog. Um, if that wasn't us in any of the games, does does tend to pull in some some support. But I think yeah, there was that feeling that maybe you know guys always like to see to see you you go down sometimes when you when you come with a bit of a following and, and the media interest in us, good or bad, it kind of, I guess it denotes a little bit of, or it implies certainly a kind of following and a, and a misunderstood or a misrepresented kind of overconfidence that doesn't, it's not in the squad, it's just that following. I think that people like to see that, that yeah. ship go down, which, is, which makes it interesting. But no, the Lions was, 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 was definitely intense, but I think this was, a, was another step up. I was kicking on the, the morning um, and then we went on a day out and it wasn't until late in the day that someone said, oh, the, you know, a few of the guys had, had been out and it was nothing big, you know, it's kind of like, oh, in Queenstown. I think it was in yeah. Queenstown, yeah, and you say, well, that's what, like I said, I've been involved in four World Cups and that's not unusual, it's not unusual after any game. Mm -hmm. It's like me when I was a lot younger, that was my life, going out there, clearing the cobwebs a bit so you can get on with the next game and you can deal with all the stress that surrounds it, but it's then when you then then there's a kind of mention that the media are in are in need of talking about what happened because there's been um, things brought forward by the press in this there's been reports of this there's been reports of this and suddenly you realise that you know that that we're into a new area now a new sort of ballpark of of things to deal with which just get in the way. I feel. Disappointed for the guys, you know, deeply disappointed for the guys because it's it must be hugely tough to take. They're they're all good guys. Um, I know Tins more than than better than the other guys, um, having spent so much time with him, and he's a he's a great player and a great stalwart and a and a great uh, sort of ambassador of English rugby and has been over many many years and a great leader and deserves all the all the praise that he's been given over his time and in, in terms of what this does, it's, it must be terribly tough to take. The strength that he showed on that tour, to be fair, to be under that kind of criticism and, and or that kind of scrutiny for things that had happened that was basically in his private life, but then to be able to carry that on one side and yet keep the other side clear to give what he gave to the rugby and do what he does normally, yeah, there's not many in the squad that would have been strong enough to do that. And I think for him now, it's you know, the, the profile that he's in with... with his life and the way it's the, where it's gone off the field has meant that you know he he's he's sort of had a lot to deal with and he's a he's a great guy and I'm sure he'll he'll come back from this exactly as you'd expect him to. I guess was a bit of confusion if anything that um, we were in that game and I was kicking and seeming to just get the same ball over and over again and just happened to let loose my frustration when I was giving my tee back after one kick, which, which went through, but was started on one post and just crept inside the yeah. other post. And I kind of, I think I turned around and, and just sort of said, I said, I'm, I just keep getting the same ball and I can't control it. Can't control the same ball. The next, yeah, next, um, there was only one kick left after that. Um, and uh, I arrived, picked up the ball, um, or took the ball that was given to me. And I think it was a, a it was a, Different ball, but that's not unusual. We're playing with eight. Mm. Uh, kicked it over and then heard about that. But you know, like you said, the, the thing is also is that there were there were other situations in the in the tournament where guys score a try, throw the ball into the crowd, kick it over there. You say to the ball boy, "I'll use that ball to kick because that one's over in the crowd somewhere." It's not the same ball, but they're all the same batch of balls. They're all World Cup balls. So I guess with that, maybe there was a feeling that you're kind of thinking, "Well, it's just an, they're all just the balls." Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not so much the cricket feeling of, yeah. You know, you're not tampering, tampering with the balls yeah. or, or anything like that. You're just more or less saying kind of almost like if the ball was flat. You know, if the ball was flat, you'd say to the ref, "It's too flat." But when the ball's pumped up properly, but you want to say to him, "Look, this is, yes, yeah, weighted somewhere on one yeah. side because it's doing this," but you know, it was, it was one kick and it it obviously caused an uproar. Maybe there's a couple of things I. I think about one is I, I wonder what life would have been like had I, um, 
had I not gotten all the injuries between 2003 and 2007 well, stroke, and then with the one in 2008, nine as well, if I hadn't missed those four, four and a half years of rugby, I wonder what, where, I'd just like to have seen maybe where that path was going, you know, without what that did to me. But then again, I mean that in a, in a positive way. I'd like to look at it because I, some parts of me think, well, I'd, I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am now. So, yeah, I'd like to know where that path was going. It may have, it may have been different to this one. It would have been different to this one, but better or worse, I don't know. I just would have liked to have seen. Um, and the other one is I'd like to have maybe seen what would happen if after 2003, if I had the strength to, to not hide away and actually face it. It wasn't part of my character and it still probably isn't now. So I, it would have been tough to do, but I would have liked to have seen where life was going if I'd have actually fronted up and not hidden away. But then with the injuries as well, I guess that was all part of the same thing. Maybe the two are, are one big wish that, you know, that maybe it would have been nice to see if, if things hadn't panned out with the injuries and the, you know, and, and the kind of fame thing. It's a tough one. I'd, I'd maybe take, uh, if I could take one thing, it would be the, the, the kind of, the friendships and the camaraderie, but not necessarily in just saying I've made great friends, but in the things you've shared and how deep those friendships have gone on the basis of what you face on the field and how that, what that does to you when you're, you're in that, I mean, I'm talking about sport here, so, you know, in a comparative sense, it's not like war, it's not like those things, I'm not, not trying to say it is, but you do feel vulnerable when you're facing these big challenges and to lean on people the way you do, it creates a bond that, that is special. And it's one of those that you can leave for years and you meet someone and you know it's, it's there. I, I appreciate that. Um, and the other thing from personal, I think I've, in, I've enjoyed taking the humility of the whole experience with me. You know, the, the, the humbling effect of, of this journey being through being told that you're this to being told that you're this to being, yeah. to being nothing, to being everything, to all of that. It's created for me an opportunity to finish at the end of it, hopefully, all being well. Um, in one piece and to be able to say that yeah, you know, I think I've, I've come out of it fairly balanced and if one thing I'll, I'll always have my feet firmly on the ground.